Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Get Gardening. I'm just admiring my little wall of Forsythia here. You know, they're really only in their second or third year. I can't quite remember which, but they're very young plants, so I can't wait for them to grow a little bit older. I know they're gonna get better with age. On today's episode, I'll be dividing my Shasta daisies, taking a look at some of the beautiful flowers blooming around the garden, and planting the first vegetables. So join me today on Good Garden. So dividing daisies couldn't be an easier or more rewarding task in the garden. In fact, all of my daisies in my garden come from one plant that I got from my mom's house several years ago. So what I do is you look at the parent plant, which is right here, and if you zoom in here, you can look and see that there's an offshoot, little stem that's growing away from the parent plant, and this is going to be a new plant. And usually underneath here, there's going to be some roots that are going to develop. So what I do is I cut the plant back here, close to the parent plant. And there's one back here, I'll cut two. I've also simply severed it with a shovel, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do to detach this new plant from the parent plant, knife, shovel, it doesn't really matter. Dig it up, you try to get as much of the root that comes with it as possible, and then you can plant this straight away, and this is a new plant. Super easy. You could actually take this clump and divide each separate plant out of it and get tons of them, and every year they multiply. It makes your plant healthier when you divide it, and it just helps to rejuvenate it. The other way that I know how to divide daisies that's also very effective is to dig up the entire clump. You can use a fork or a shovel, and after you dig it up, you can use a knife to separate it into the separate parts. Usually as you're digging it up, pieces will kind of break away. So this piece broke away really nice and easily. This is a new plant. When you go to replant them, make sure that the root and the stem of that plant are under the ground and the crown is up on top. Just like that, push the dirt in, give it a drink, and job done. The daffodils have started to open. I especially love this one with the orange cups, the nice yellow flares. The one behind it is a nice creamy white with an orange center. Looks nice as well. This is a little flowering narcissus that I absolutely love. It's such a cheerful plant, and this actually has a beautiful scent that's a little bit reminiscent of hyacinth. It's almost hard to describe. I wish I knew the name of this variety. The little white bells have begun to open on the Japanese Andromeda. Here in my front yard, I have a little clump of beautiful blue hyacinths right by a nice peony. Take a look. My epimedium opened for the first time. Beautiful little orchid shaped flowers. They're very small. Here's some buds on my Yoshino cherry tree in the front yard. I can't wait for these to open. I've never seen them bloom before. Whatever potatoes I don't eat from last year, I save until they're chitted like this where they start sprouting to plant in the garden. You're not supposed to save them, but I do, and I never have any trouble with them. This is the bed I'm putting the potatoes in this year. I make sure I keep them in different beds every year, and I keep them about a hand's distance away, so put my hand out and put the next one down. Then I dig a little hole where I have them and plop them in. Couldn't be an easier vegetable. 
I don't do much else with them. I do top them up with some topsoil or some mulch just to keep them from getting the green. I bought some shallot bulbs and I'll be planting these in this bed along with some yellow onions. As many yellow onions I can fit in here and what I can't fit I'll put in a different bed. I treat the shallots pretty similar to the potato. I do about a hand width apart, dig a little hole, stick them pointy the end up. That's all for me for today. I'm just in my vegetable garden where I have a cut flower bed. I just love coming out here, harvesting daffodils to put in a vase and use in the house. It's just so nice not having to go to the store and buy any of these. They're so cheerful. I hope you guys are able to enjoy the beautiful weather and are able to get out there and get gardening. <laughs>